The next job is to reassemble the fuel taps and I've bought this Ewart's petrol tap repair kit. So instead of the corks, with these have gone, but I do have some spare corks, um, they've come up with this concept of Viton O-rings and you're supposed to put four of these on to replace the corks. I've heard mixed reviews about them but I'm going to try them out for myself and if they don't work I'll just revert back to the original corks. But I've got new fibre washers and then the idea is we just replace these corks with four of these, grease them a little bit, press them back in and then fit them back into this bore. They give you a spare one as well just in case. I think the biggest risk is that you tear these o-rings either while you're trying to put them on or when you're fitting them back into the bore. And I've heard that the hole here as well they can rub up against the hole and, and and tear them so we'll see so just a little bit of grease um, on my fingertip grease them up a bit and then this let's grease this shaft and pop them on there oh yeah they slide on nice I thought they'd be a little bit of a stretch. I think that's if you're trying to put them over the end. Three, four. They're a bit wider actually than the cork so we'll see. I think possibly three would have been better but we'll see. So now I'm just going to press this into this here in the vise. And then finally trying to fit it back into the valve body. It says it might be a little tight, so we'll see. I don't want to tear it. Oh yeah, that's it. Oh yeah, great. And then I've tried to line up the slot here with this screw hole. <laughs> They're going to be tight, I think. Oh. So we'll see. We'll see how this works. And this is just a few moments later. I just played around with it. It's a little, it's a little tight, but that's, I think that's going to be fine for now. We'll see how that works on the bike. Good morning, out at my friend Bob's with Jeff and we're going to ask him if he can help us build a jig to fix this warped flange on the carburetor. Bob lives out here in the countryside, it's just a fantastic place with an amazing machine shop. Hopefully he can make this jig and I'll leave a link in the description below for credits to where I found this information about this tool, this jig. I really appreciate it. Normally if it's just maybe a thousandth out, I would do it on a surface plate with some sandpaper but as you could tell from the video it's like 40 thousandths or more even out obviously the ears on the flange have got badly damaged to the extent where I think it's actually damaged the collar of where the o-ring sits and that shouldn't be a problem but we'll see what we can do with that next Yeah, I don't know. Uh, I, 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 
right there. Oh, there we go. Oh, awesome. Not, not any more rattle than, us, than, uh, <laughs> than the regular slide. Yeah, right. <laughs> okay, all right. Well, within aim of tolerances. <laughs> The hardest part's getting it started straight. Once it's right, started, yeah. So you can see the gap already here, quite noticeable. It's pretty tight. I would think that's enough. I doubt you have to do it's pretty tight, eh? That metal's not going to be springy, is it? So is it going to hold it? It might it, it'll spring, spring back some. Along. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. yeah. But I mean... And then you can finish it off, like, on the surface plate yeah. then, couldn't you? Right. Yeah, yeah. What, so you're this, take... this is bending these ears back. Right, yeah. So th as far as we can go. Yeah. So what yeah. you're doing is you're taking the worst of the bend out. You yeah. Pull it right. flat. When you take it off, it'll probably spring back a little bit. I think so. Yeah. I think and you're going to get you're going to get a little wobble surface. You saw how the file didn't exactly get it. Yes. Cut straight. Okay. You should have taken a measurement before. Did you? Oh, maybe you uh, have. Um, you got a picture of the angle before. I, I know how much it was out. It was at least forty thousand. Okay, out. so you got a before. So enough. yes. So, to see how so much just snug it up gently. Just snug, like yeah, and then just so it'll hold it. The truth is the O-ring will take up a fair bit of gap. Oh yeah, yeah, right. Well, that's ten thousandths. Yeah, that will just go in there. But that, this is totally flat. 
I think it's more like a buckle though here now in in the actual flange the face of the flange yeah so the ears might actually be level but there's just you can just see it here there's like a gap there and, but yeah. you said it was 40 before it was 40 now you're down to 10 now that's 10 yeah yeah, yeah. and then the further you get the closer to the ears there's no there's no gap but again like you said bob a lot of it is to do with this fracture in this outer lip yeah that's uh, ten thousands on the other side as yeah. well so it's now the other interesting thing would be whether it's made the ball around yes the slice oh, uh -huh. yeah yeah just slots out okay. and now we see if the uh, throttle slide see how the slide fits Where's the, slide? the throttle there. valve this is looser than it was before oh is it yeah, yeah. which is great Just going to try some of this JB Weld putty to see if I can build up this shoulder and I've got an old o-ring in there Let's see if this works It's a day later now and the JB Weld putty has hardened. This is what it hardens like. It's pretty firm and I've just shaped it round here. It's not perfect, but uh, also just filed it with a small little little craft file there. And it looks okay. I've recessed it a little bit so it doesn't butt up against the manifold um, and get snapped off. Um, but hopefully it will hold. Um, and I forgot to show you, but that's the original O-ring. And you can see how squished it got and also how damaged it was up there. Um, you can even see that it's not quite round. It's a little oval, but hopefully that's not going to be a problem. But uh, anyway, so that goes away and then it's replaced by... This is another old O-ring as well. I just used that to act as a shoulder while I did the JB well, but... Hopefully that'll do it. I'll give this carburetor body a thorough wash and then start reassembling it and putting it back on the bike. <laughs>